Hello everyone, Brian Trapania here, and I'll be uh, hopefully taking you through the process of making a render bump in Doom 3 and adding fake shadows to your uh, simple meshes. Um, the first thing I want to do is customize the grid to be more friendly to the numbers of the Doom Editor. 16, 8, and 8 gets us what we want. Uh, snaps, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. We're not going to be using snaps. The front is where we'll be. We'll do an Alt W, and we're going to create a, uh, a geosphere to start with, and we'll uh, make it 50, created in the middle, and uh, we'll turn that into an octa. And this is going to be our low poly. We will call that low ball, and uh, yeah, right here we'll turn that into an editable mesh right away and come back over to this spot, click off and now we will create a sphere the same uh, spot, 50, create and that will be also uh, we'll make that an editable poly and we will call that highball and right away I'll just save this out as ball and what I want to do now is turn off this uh, back one here I'll just right click and free selection and the top one is the uh, the big guy we'll go back alt W uh, when we can stay like this for right now we will um, editable poly, we'll work with the polygons, we'll just uh, select a bunch of them what if I... I'll just leave it off, ignore back facing and we will get to that in a bit uh, this is where I'll go back to Alt-W and just keep selecting a bunch of different ones there'll be a side where there isn't any, but that'll be okay and now that that's done, we will hide my buttons and we will extrude those polygons so that'll be our bump and uh, that might be a bit much we'll take that down a bit oops it's doubling it up on me so I'll just leave it where it was or maybe I'll do a double there we go and now I'll just bring it up a little bit create a little bit of shadow and that is our uh, what's it so uh, now we can come back to here and this one here we will uh, turn into an editable mesh and we will freeze it uh, we'll unfreeze all and we will freeze selection and we will select the back one and to this we will add a uh, simple by showing buttons first we will add a simple uh, UV map to the, um, to the low poly mesh and we're going to add a uh, a uh, spherical map to it, make it easy for us. And with that, we can now right click here and collapse all to a single editable mesh and just save as incremental on the plus. It'll be ball zero 01 now, just to uh, have something to go back, fall on, fall back on if we need it. Uh, now that that's an editable mesh, um, with uh, we want to add a texture to it, so letter M bring this up, we will uh, click on down here, bitmap, and I already have a texture set up on C, uh, actually I'm working in the, uh, the Doom, so uh, program files, uh, where are ya, Doom 3, base, and uh, we will save this into the models, ball, and cancel, what am I doing? Oh, I'm opening. I'm not saving it into anything. I got all confused there. We're going to uh, come back up to the default and select there. And I have to come down here and click it there. Now I will go to the... Uh, well, that's what I was doing. I was on the right track. Look at that. Pretty woman walks by and I get all lost. Uh, now we're going to textures, ball. And uh, it's not a BMP. It's TGA. That's uh, the only issue and ball D, it's just a squiggle, nothing fancy going on there open it up, uh, put it on, we can even show it inside, it doesn't matter and uh, 
well now we will export uh, I was ahead of myself before export selected and we're going to export that to the C uh, program files uh, doom 3 base models ball and we're going to es export it as an ASCII scene export in ASC and that is lowball save and uh, we're going to use mapping coordinates, mesh normals, materials, mesh definition. Okay. And uh, now we will unfreeze all, and we will select the top top ball. It's also an editable mesh, and we're now going to export that, and we will call that high ball, and uh, save. But we don't want the materials or mapping coordinates this time. Okay. And uh, now we're done in. 3D Max, we can head on over to the C drive. On the C drive, we want to head into the uh, Doom 3 folder, base. Inside of here, working with the uh, models, come up to ball, and the low ball here, open that up. It's got a uh, texture referenced inside of it, and it's this one here. We want that to be uh, right to there. Just make that one of these slashes. So it's base, base, ball, ball, that's fine, you don't have to have the underscore or the dot tj, but we'll keep that in. And uh, that's it, we will save this one. And uh, actually I'm going to open up this once more, make sure, yes, standard, excuse me. High ball, open it up, it doesn't have a texture, that's just fine. Okay, now we uh, come on over to the materials, which is right here and uh, open that up. We have the ball.mtr and inside of this, this is the uh, render bump uh, info that you're going to be using. It wouldn't be a uh, flip, wouldn't be on a separate line like this, it just drop itself over. So this is textures underscore ball underscore ball text which we uh, have as the models. Uh, the low ball texture is uh, not called ball text so we will do that here it's called ball text and uh, that is referencing yes this ball material and here it says ball text and what that's going to do is render bump create the uh, a 512 512 uh, with the anti-alias to color map textures underscore ball it's going to create the local normal map and it's going to reference the models uh, high ball ASC to do such so what you do to do this is, okay, this is written up, it's called ball.mtr, and that exists in the materials folder. And then inside the models folder, you have the high ball and the low ball. And inside textures, you have the uh, just the, uh, the ball D, which you didn't need anyways, but it's there for right now. And now what we do is head on into the Doom 3 editor. Okay, we're inside the uh, Doom 3 editor. I'm going to uh, open up the uh, C drive. Uh, the C drive here, we're going to uh, be inside the Doom 3 folder, is where we actually want to be. And we're going to be inside uh, uh, textures, ball, and that is where it will create the uh, render map. A render bump. So inside the Doom 3 editor, we uh, come to. I'm going to open up the time so that you can do a time lapse on this. Um, we type in render bump and then uh, just reference to models uh, ball and then lowball.ase. That's going to look at the lowball, and the lowball is uh, going to not is going to not uh, have a texture but it's going to have a reference to that uh, that material uh, to build a render bump and uh, so it will and it will stick it inside this folder here but it uh, it takes a little bit and I've got a uh, fairly decent computer so um, where are you? There's your time actually so now we're there and uh, let's go Let's see if I didn't hit the enter. There we go. I'm 
Okay, there we are. That took about uh, three minutes or so. Not too sure. Wasn't really paying attention. Kind of dozed off. Um, after once I had remembered to push the uh, enter button, of course. What we got now is the ball local, which looks like that. And uh, it's got the uh, bumps on it. There you go. Be nice and straight up. And uh, ball color local, which is this, and we don't do anything with that, but toss it in the trash. Um, now that we have that done, we can head on into the uh, back over to the uh, materials area. And what we want to do now is uh, change the ball material because we don't need it to be render bump anymore. We want to change it into a uh, texture file that uses the uh, files that are over there. So do that. Uh, we just have to uh, change the information in here. Okay, and uh, with a little bit of magic there it's uh, been zapped over to be the uh, texture for reading the diffuse map, bump map, which is the ball local and the editor image, which is just a small one that we have. Um, so to make this uh, we just, uh, yes, we will save it. And come on over to models and ball. We can get rid of the high ball and the low ball. We will just rename to simply ball. And I'm going to make that lowercase. Probably doesn't matter. Everything looks fine in here. Referencing base textures, ball, ball text. Yes. And come on back to this way. Uh, textures has ball editor and local and uh, that is it that's all we, we need to do I do believe okay inside the Doom 3 folder we'll uh, right click up here new model Doom 3 folder inside the Doom 3 editor uh, right click model let's see model so there we go ball ball okay and uh, we'll move it into some position okay Come on over to here. Let's uh, stretch this out. Get some show off happening. And let's see if I F7 that. So it's got uh, it's got uh, little shadow bumps that are happening on it, even though it's a uh, smooth mesh. But as you can see, they're not actually on it. They're uh, just fake shadows. So that's uh, that's a basic one. Um, what I'm going to do is actually uh, bind that to a uh, funk rotating as per the information that was supplied to me free of charge at 3dbuzz.com by Jason Busby and Logan. they got some Far Cry stuff going on right now. Hope they get back to some Doom 3 stuff. Very uh, interesting to learn from them. Though I do like a lot of people, really enjoy written HTML tutorials. Uh, Jason Busby and the 3D Buzz crew are very informational and definitely worth watching. Uh, okay, so that's a basic uh, basic uh, bump map on it. We're going to add a uh, funk funk rotating, and we'll just stick that down in there and. Uh, uh, don't need to make that smaller, just need to make that larger. Funk rotating, there's its name, and click off on that, click on the sphere, uh, bind, there you go, done. Make it small, and uh, we will save this and actually do a BSP of it and that would be spinning in game but you can already see what it looks like over here what we're going to do now is add some more to it and uh, then we're going to go into the game and check it out so back over to the uh, C drive okay now I'm actually in the uh, Doom 3 folder what, I'm gonna did, what I did already is uh, textures I just uh, ball I created an underscore H which is a height map so I have the local which is the, uh, the normal map and uh, I also now have the ball H, which is a height map, and it's just uh, actually a Moritz Cornelius Escher picture. Uh, so I'm going to use that as the height map, and it's just 
grayscale and depending on what this, the uh, color is determines on how high or low the positioning of that area will appear to be. Again, it doesn't actually cause any geometry distortion it just uh, or displacement, it just uh, creates an illusion. So that's in there and so now we have the diffuse, the editor, the underscore, the height map and the local normal map and we come over to the materials. What I've done in here is material uh, change it to look like this now. So it's got the editor, it's got the diffuse map, it also has the bump map still, but now it's got an add normals function or whatever you would call this, I don't know what the terminology is. Textures ball, ball local, and uh, space, then comma, space, height map, uh, and then inside of here it has the uh, textures ball height map uh, underscore h dot tga with uh, this is uh, how strong intense it is. And uh, so that now is the new texture for the ball dot mtr. And uh, now we can go see that inside the game itself with the uh, with the ball spinning. Okay, inside the game, there it is. Uh, again, it uh, looks just awesome. Some uh, let's see, a flashlight. Kind of, if you get too close, you can tell that it's flat. But uh, use it wisely. And let's see, that well, seems to be solid. Doesn't grab you or anything. But uh, that's always cool. Render bump. Have fun.